All right, so now what I want to do is show you how to make the legs. I have four legs for my lion already made. One, two, three, four. Do you notice something? They're not all the same size. That's going to be a problem. They need to be the same size. Otherwise, my piggy bank's going to be all wiggly and lopsided. We don't want that. Get them down there. Same size. Push him down, push him down. Stretch that one up a little bit. <laughs> Just want to bring it up, bring it up, get it all the same. To make sure, you can always go like this. Tap, 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 tap. That's right. Equal. Okay? These are our legs. What I would want to do is take plastic bags a little cushy pillow for my piggy bank to lay on. Remember, this is the top of the head. This is under the chin here. We're going to flip it completely upside down on a bed of pillows. Here's going to be two legs and here's two legs that I'm going to attach. So I'm going to mark it with my fingers. I'm going to take my tool and I'm going to scratch. And I'm going to attach the, my lion legs. Score and slurry. It's the scoring, scratching both ways. A lot of people ask this question, why are we scoring? I don't understand why we do this. It's creating friction. For example, a kitty cat, when they climb up the bark of the tree, they're climbing up something scratchy because there's friction. They can grab on and connect to it. A cat doesn't ever climb up a glass window. They just go sliding down. So it creates friction, makes things stick together like a cat's claws in the bark of the tree. All right, that's why we do that because it keeps our projects um, together better. Sometimes you have to wash your hands from time to time because the clay gets all over them. And I just really like my hands not to have a bunch of clumps of clay. Okay, I'm going to show you something. These are thicker than one inch. So what I need to do is I need to take something. And in my class, I always have paint brushes. I have them painted red if they're going into the clay. White if they're going into the glaze. We don't want to mix those two up. I'm going to take the stick and I am going to ram a hole into my legs. This is the part of the leg that's going to be on the counter, on the table. This right here is the part that's going to be scored against the body. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up and I'm going to ram these and make a hole in this foot. But I didn't go all the way. Almost but I didn't because I want this flat. No more. See how that hole is? All holes face the table. So solid area goes scored onto here. So let's score this one. Scratch, scratch. Score it good. Put some slip. There's one of the back legs of my lion. Good. In a little bit, I'm going to coil reinforce that. Here's the next one. There's the bottom. This is the top. This is the part that's going to go against the lion's body. The area that's not going against a lion's body must have a hole that's rammed in here so the air can go in and dry it out and so it won't explode, okay? Good, excellent. Scratch. Scratch, 
Diagonal, diagonal, crisscross applesauce. Slurry, slurry. And apply it. Perfect. I got two back legs on. Yeah, they're a little wiggly because I didn't quill reinforce yet. The next one, this is a front leg. These two right here are nice flat bottoms like this, really nice and flat. Those are going to go against the table on the counter like this. See on there. So that's the area that we need to ram this stick in there, this paintbrush handle. Open it up so it will dry really well. Good. Against the body. Score. Slurry. Good. Excellent. Wow. How wonderful. If you notice it being just a little uneven, it's okay. Because I'm going to tip it over and give my whole animal a tap, tap, tap. All four legs on the ground. It's going to be so nice. Here's the other one. Ram it with the paint. Oh, did it went through? No problem. I just take a little bit of clay. Plug that up. There. Good. All plugged up. See that? Solid. And there's the hole. Scratch, scratch. Back the other way. Scratch it good. Slurry it good. Some on there. All right. Connect. Oh, good. I'm so glad. I love it. Oh, I love all my piggy banks and this lion. I never made a lion before. I'm looking forward to seeing this one when it's done. I love the creation process when you're creating, and it's so much fun. Okay. Now, all these legs are on there, but they will not stay if I do not coil reinforce. So, I need clay. I just found a coil right here sitting here. Wonderful. It's an earthworm size. So, I'm going to go around and coil reinforce all the way around. It's a little extra. Good. Smooth. Smooth it really well and, and where it totally blends in. More clay. More coils. Okay. Sometimes I like to put a little liquid on them. They seem to slide better and connect better. Okay, I'm going coil reinforcing all the way around the leg. A little extra. Blend. Smooth it in. Excellent. Wonderful. Two legs done, two to go. Dip it into a little liquid. I like that. You know, if you have a uh, spray bottle handy, just give it a little bit of liquid. Water is our friend. It makes things connect um, a little easier, but if you use too much water, it actually cracks your clay later and it's so slippery that it just turns to slime. So only use a little water. Okay, I'm blending it really super well and it's really good. I can't wait to show you the tail. It's so cute. And the mane, the hair that goes around the lion, so fun. Here's the other one. Tip it. Okay. All the way around. Coil reinforcing is so important. That way our pieces don't fall off. Good. All right. Well connected. Those legs aren't going to ever fall off. 